hello what's up buddies so in this video uh, sorry in this series of loop control structure in C uh, this is the second uh, part of this series that is uh, for loop uh, in this video we will discuss about the for loop okay so let's start it without wasting any time so for loop uh, for loop is used to repeat a specific block of code for known times it means as if you have a let this is the for loop and here if i x equal to 1 then semicolon and if i make it to x is small less than or equal to 5 okay and then increment for it sorry so it means uh, this series it, uh, x equal to 1 is uh, continue for in a loop for 5 times okay it will follow the loop for the 5 times okay it means it goes through from the first to 5 it means uh, the loop is will works or continue until it reaches this point or this value 5 okay so this is the uh, syntax of the for loop initialize counter it means that is called initialize counter here i initialize the value of x and this is the test counter it means we can say that the loop center and this is the increment counter so and if this all the execution of the loop is done then it is the body or the execute the statement okay uh, okay wait i have something special so in this picture as you can see this is our for keyword okay that is available in the c and it is the name of the variable control variable name okay its type is int and here it is the assignment operator to assign its value from the start the series starting value of control variable okay control variable is starts from the one and it is used to semicolon separator that make uh, separated from it from this one and this is the our loop from here to here it means it will uh, increment like this here for this until uh, reach this value okay and this is the increment of control variable and we can say that it means it increase increment it, it will do increment until it get this point and this is the final value of control variable for which the condition is true okay so let's learn more in the program so let's me open my visual studio code and create a new file and give it name to for loop dot c okay now type the program as include wait that's enough as include and the stdio dot s okay after that in main and oh sorry int main and after this i'm going to uh, put some variable or take some variable that data type is int first is sum and the second variable is x okay and you can also use it like that okay and the uh, sum equal to 0 our uh, sum as and the value of the sum is 0 okay after that i am going to start my loop for basically all the loops in cr used to do something or execute the code continuously for the known or fixed time but the their works of code is some different okay uh, so that is probably so good i am 
I mostly use for looping. I mostly use for loop that is easy, easy and understandable. Okay. So after that, I'm going to start my loop, and here x equal to one. After that, I'm going to x is less than or equal to ten. I make it ten times. This is the loop. Okay. And after this, that uh, increment. Okay. Then here, let's start its body. And here, I'm going to print uh, sum equal to sum plus one. Oh wait. Sum equal to sum plus one. It means it uh, goes this one zero plus one. Equal to one, and then one plus one equal to two. It goes like that. Okay. So after that, uh, in this case, uh, okay, wait. Let me explain. X takes a value um, in sequence of one plus two plus three dot 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 plus. Okay. So after that, uh, here body is completed, and I'm going to print a message on the screen. That is print f, and the and the wait the sum of mm, one plus two plus three dot dot dot. Okay, and space percent d. Okay, then slash n and print this variable sum. After that, make it return g. Okay, it means this series started from the one and loop will continue until it reaches this value ten for the uh, loop. Do uh, loop uh, it will looping for the ten times. Okay, let's run this and so it's output that will be great. I just hope. Okay, so sum. Okay, the sum of one, two, and three. Oh wait. No, no, no. Here plus x okay because it is the x value not one okay because x is getting uh, incrementing in this loop so wait let's run this again and now you can see the sum of one plus two plus three is go to for the ten times and it is the fifty five okay <clears throat> you can also add this all the values okay okay wait i will do that for you see oh wait see a and see calculator let's open this one that will very great okay one Plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight plus nine plus ten equal to fifty five. Okay, so that's very great calculation of this loop. So hopefully you all have understood this method or this for loop. and if this uh, helpful for you so please guys like this video and also subscribe my channel and bye bye i will see you again in the next video so thanks for watching